Hugging Face is the perfect place for AI and machine learning enthusiasts. In this video, I will be going over things like models, data sets, spaces, papers, and places where you can learn more about AI and machine learning. If you're new to my channel, I have a website, kevinwoodrobotics.com, where I teach things about AI machine learning and robotics and computer vision. So go ahead and check it out. Now, let's first take a look at the Models tab, as you can see up here. So when I go into Models, what you're going to notice is that Models will have a bunch of AI models based on your needs. So you can see that here we have almost 1 million models. That's crazy. And you could sort it by different things. So right here, you can see right now it's currently sorted by trending. But if you click on it, uh, notice that you could have things that's trending, most likes, most downloads, recently created or recently updated. So go ahead and choose the one that suits your needs for your searching. But here, you can also uh, filter by name. So for example, if I want to type like stable, then you can see that there's some results for um, stable diffusion, as you can see here. So if you already know which model you're looking for, you could go ahead and uh, click click on the ones that you want. And right here on the left, you can see that you can also search by different things. So we have here uh, tasks, libraries, uh, data sets, languages, licenses, and others. So one thing I really like is if you search by the task, and if you already know what you're trying to accomplish, then it's very easy to find what you want. So you have multimodal, computer vision, uh, natural language processing down here. And if I scroll down a little bit more, you see we have uh, audio here, tabular, uh, reinforcement learning, and others. So this might even help you find new things that you never even knew about just based on the area of interest that, you're, uh, that you have, right? So uh, right here, let's take a look. You also look at it in terms of library. So let's say you only want to use uh, PyTorch. You have like data sets, languages, licenses, and others. So for licenses, maybe you want to have free license. So you might go with the Apache 2.0. So some may be more restrictive than others. So that might be a reason why you go with one model over the other. Now, one thing that's really nice too is if you click on one of the models, um, sometimes the models will go into some details about how it works, and it'll tell you um, a short code snippet that you can use if you want to run it locally. So as you can see here, they provide you a short uh, code script that you can use. And then there's also links to like their documentations, like papers, and so on. Um, there's also some contacts that they had down there. So uh, it's really great for you to get something up and running. Um, sometimes what you want to know is that um, you may have to sign up to get access to certain models uh, if you want to run it locally. So uh, you would need to fill it out based on what the requirement is for that model. So like in this case, you would have to fill, fill this out to get access. Now next up, let's take a look at data sets. So data sets is this tab up here. So if I click into it, uh, one thing you're going to notice is that you can also filter by the same things, task, library, languages, licenses, and others. And then same thing with the sorting. But one thing for a data set, it's good for people that uh, want to do their own training with their own model, for example, or maybe um, they want to play around with a different model that's not currently trained with a specific data set. So you may want to fine tune and things like that. Um, but here, if you click into one of the data sets, you can see that uh, they have more details about it, talk about some stuff, models trained or fine tuned. And it's a great place for you to do things on your own, get more hands-on. OK, so now let's take a look at Spaces. So I went into this tab here. And Spaces is pretty much one of my favorite things on Hugging Face because you can actually run the model online and see the results to see if it's a model that you even want to use in your application. So, And you could also sort it by the same ways. You could search for the Spaces if you know what you're already looking for. So I'll show you a quick demo of how that looks like. So let's say uh, I've been playing with a stable fast 3D quite a bit. It's been really fun going from 2D images to 3D. But I made a video on that. But you can see if I just drag and drop a character and I hit Run, what this will do is show me the results. Look at that, 3D rendering just from a 2D image. So 
you could just come in and play around with different things as you wish. Uh, sometimes you might run out of um, tokens or whatever they call it, and you might have to wait some period of time before you actually run it again. Okay, so that's one potential drawback is um, you might have limited usage, but I think there's some ways you could pay for it to get more access if you want. Now, another thing that I really like is if you come here to this tab here, um, you can see that there's uh, daily papers. So if you're more into the technical stuff, you could go here to daily papers where you could read up on the hot and newest papers that's coming out. So this is more for those that uh, want to have a little bit deeper understanding of what the model is doing. So this is great for you to keep up to date on what's new and what's trending. And then the last thing I want to talk about is here, if you come to uh, learn under communities here. So under the community, you see learn here. Learn is a great place if you want to learn more about computer vision and AI. So if you go into that tab here, the link, you can see that there's different options. You have the NLP course, deep reinforcement learning course, audio course, community computer vision course, open source AI cookbook, machine learning for games course, machine learning for 3D course, diffusion course. So this is a great place for you to uh, get started if you're new or if you're already experienced and just want more knowledge, this is also a great place for you. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.